All right, this is Sweet Mondays, uh, March 21st, 2011. It's actually Wednesday, March 23rd, 2011. I was sick a little bit. Um, might not post one next week because my birthday's on Saturday, but we'll see. This is part one of two, um, so enjoy. Title's in the description. I hope this letter reaches you somehow and you get to read our apologies. I pray it don't hit a rock breaking into pieces and tangled in some seaweeds. We would have been there to join you and the others in line, but we woke up late, got ready too slow, and didn't make it in time. Nah, I don't want to tell you lies and be dishonest in what is to be our last conversation. We knew what time to be there, but procrastinated and went to every other place except your destination. We wanted to see the sights and the beautiful hills and lay in the open fields to embrace the wind, consume the apples on the trees and enjoy the forbidden taste while we were just knowing that we were just living in sin. We bathed in the water and washed away our guilt because we don't know what's after this life. We live to curse, cheat, steal, smile, be happy, fight, crumble in the darkness, but rise in the light. It's just in our framework, the design of mankind, we're programmed to sometimes ignore the integrity. We hide feelings and show our strong side, but when bad things happen to us, we act like we're just going to let it be. Well, we made it home and the overcast is making the land darker and the cold is making the blood and my fingers go numb. I know that she'll miss you because right now she's staring lifeless just watching the dinosaurs and the unicorns run for shelter for what's to come. We know you're far away and surrounded by animals and it's starting to rain so I don't want this letter to get ruined. But before I seal this in a bottle, thank you for the ticket to the ark and we appreciate the offer for salvation. Sincerely, the humans.